Hello guys, so I'm making this video about, of course, Jesus. It's always about Jesus. And I just want to let you guys know that, you know, they didn't take his life. He gave it. Jesus gave his life for us out of love. God demonstrated his love for us while we was yet sinners. He died for us. So even when we was yet sinners, even though we disobeyed God, God said, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Because what we do, we don't understand, you know, that our, our deeds are evil. You know, we don't understand that, you know, that's all humankind because we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God, you know, sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. And, you know, by us, by people, by the everybody putting their faith in Jesus, they will be saved. And Jesus will raise them up, you know, because he still lives. He rose from the grave in three days. So it's important to know that Jesus is almighty. He wants everybody to come together. You know, he doesn't want no division. You know, he loves you, whoever you are, whoever, whoever is listening to this video, he loves you and he wants you to be saved. You could skip this video. You could uh, look at this video. You don't have to like it. You know, you don't have to comment. But guess what? He's speaking to you. He's speaking to you right now. And he's telling you right now that he loves you and he wants you to not worry. He doesn't want you to be anxious. He he wants you to come to him. He does not want you to be scared. He doesn't want you to be afraid. He doesn't want you to be lonely because our Savior, Jesus Christ, is here right now. He is actually here. You know, he's here. So, all right, you know, you just have to give him your heart, you know. It's, you don't have to hold on to the hurt inside of you. You don't have to hold, hold on to any of that. You know, you could, Jesus could um, set you clean, you know. So it's, it's, you know, anybody who's watching this video, you know, there's hope, you know, there's hope. This is, this life is just temporary. There is eternal hope that will last forever. And it's in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, it's in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, He's a body of Christ. We're the body of Christ. You know, we're the members of Christ, the ones who believe in him. And you guys, you just, you just, he just wants to put a smile on your face. He wants to, he just wants to hug you. He wants to like, um, shake your hand. He wants to dine in your heart, you know, dine in. He just wants to be with you. You know, it's like, you know, a sheep, you know, is coming towards you. And it's like somebody's pushing the sheep away. Like, I don't want nothing a part of you. And it's just a docile sheep. He's lone. He, he, I mean, he's not lonely, you know, because he's our lamb. You know, he, 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 he wants relationship with the, with people. He wants relationship with everybody. So this sheep, our true shepherd, you know, our true lamb, who's Jesus Christ. He's, it's like he's coming to you, and you're pushing him away. You're like, I don't need you. You know, I don't need what you have to offer. I don't need any of that. But yet, that poor that lovely, that humble, that amazing lamb of God, he's the one who created you and yet you're rejecting him. So he wants to tell you, you know, that you don't need to reject me no longer. You know, I have eternal life. I have a place for you in heaven. You know, all you have to do is you see my free grace and you know, you're in, you're saved. So it's important to um, share the word of God, you know, Jesus loves everybody. No one is outside of God's grace. Jesus loves everybody. Doesn't matter where you are. You could be in space. You could be um, sailing in the ocean. You could be like, you could be in a different world. You could be in a different country. And I mean, you could be out of nowhere, you know? Even though I believe that all humans is only in this world, this is the only world. But what I'm trying to say is that no matter where you are, Jesus loves you, you know. Psalms 139, 7, 8, it says, Where can I flee from your where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee for your presence? From your presence. If I send to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. So Jesus is there and he's calling your name. Whoever your name is, John, Elizabeth, uh, James, Matthew, you know, Brock, you know, Lauren, you know, Timothy. Andrew, uh, doesn't Peter, doesn't matter what your names are, you know, it doesn't have to be the names of the Bible. It could be any name 
that's Jesus calling. But are you willing to open your hands? Are you willing to take his free grace? It's a free grip, a free gift. And if you just put your heart out there and just take that free gift, then you have you don't have to worry about anything. You know, after you die, it's a point of man to die once and then judgment. But when you have faith in Jesus Christ, you're going to be with him and you don't have to worry about anything. So I'm just encouraging you guys, you know, today is Saturday. It's a, you know, new day to get right with Jesus Christ. A new day to open your eyes to the truth. A new day to see the light, to see the sunlight. A new day to experience amazing love. It's a new day, you know, if you're still alive, it's a new opportunity to accept Jesus Christ if you haven't accepted him. And it starts right now. And if you guys pray, this prayer but actually actually mean it with all your heart you know god only knows you know if you really mean it then of course he's going to save you if you you know romans 10 9 if you confess the name of the lord with all your heart you'll be saved if you confess the name of the lord you'll be saved romans 10 uh i mean that's romans 10 9 if you confess the name of the lord you'll be saved romans 10 13 if you confess the name of the lord you'll be saved. Romans 10, 9. If you confess the name of the Lord with all your heart and believe that God raised him up from the dead, you'll be saved. That's Romans 10, 9. Once again, Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him up from the dead, you'll be saved. So just remember, you know, it just takes faith. You know, if you say, uh, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, but I know that you are the Savior who died on the cross for my sins. I choose this day and for it to accept you as my Lord and Savior, to change, to be your, to be a faithful disciple, your faithful disciple, even though I may stumble sometimes, but I know you're going to pick me back up. But right now, I surrender my life. I make you Lord of my life, my God of my life, my King of my life, and I choose to follow you, no one else. I choose to only follow the one who saves, our Lord and Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for my sins. I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to be my savior. I ask you to be my friend. I accept you now and forever. I accept you for, you know, every day. I accept you when I wake up. I accept you when I lay down, when I go to sleep. I accept you when I go out. I accept you when I come in. Each, every second and fiber of my being, I accept you because you are my life. I love you and I ask right now, and I pray right now that you'll come in my life. And if you pray that prayer with all your heart and mean it sincerely, you know, Jesus only knows if you really do mean it sincerely, sincerely, then you will be saved and you will have a place in heaven, a place filled with love, a place filled with grace, a, a place filled with no hurt, harm, heartaches, um, a place that will make you free for all eternity. And if you accept Jesus right now, your name will be written in the book of life and you will have life for all eternity. Accept Jesus with a pure heart and you will be saved.